Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and have been for about 25 years and I use a mythic tarot which are based on Greek mythology. Good day everyone, I'm Carrie Bellino, intuitive Reiki master teacher, spiritual life coach and the keeper of the questions. So, Which please I like, surprise. <laughs> please like and sh share and subscribe if these resonate with you while I'm pulling this out. Okay, we're going totally off course from the last few videos. Oh, well, nice. how, how do I become a conscious leader? Oh, we could do with a few of those, couldn't we? Boy, that's for sure. Okay, interesting, a bit of a mixed bag. Okay, by keeping your heart open, not letting personal experiences, personal negative experiences get in the way or to influence you where in your dealing with others. You've got to keep your heart open, you've got to be authentic, you've got to be prepared to be vulnerable. Um, so people can um, resonate with you because people can't really resonate with somebody who's up on there on the pedestal. They, they have to see the human aspect of you. It doesn't have to be, you don't have, I'm not saying you have to um, divulge all your personal life, that's not what I'm saying, but, but if you don't have love for people and people can't feel that love and, um, and acceptance and willing, willingness to help, then they're never going to see you as a leader. You're just, a dictator, really. Um, so it is about the human connection and have your heart open and not I said not put your previous negative experiences onto other people. It's not easy. This is a battle with material reality, day-to-day -day life not being particularly easy, and this is what you will need to deal with with other people's problems, other people's lack of money, other people's um, domestic issues, um, the things that are wrong in the, the world, or when I say wrong, the things that are off course in the world. Um, so to be a, a conscious leader, you have to get down and dirty, you know, because if you can't resonate or you, it, with, the, with the, the problems that often people have to deal with on a day-to-day -day level, these problems become overwhelming. If you don't have a, a connection with people who maybe are homeless or can't feed their families, this is a day-to-day -day reality for many, many people on the planet. And if people, if you don't care about those people, then you're not a, care, you're not a conscious leader. You know, um, so it is being prepared to see the, the really unpleasant side of life. It can't all be, I'm, I'm a leader and, you know, and I look after the pretty parts of life. You know, um, I go to award ceremonies and, uh, and, you know, I make sure that, you know, people have nice office spaces. That I know that's superficial, but a lot of times people in leadership positions, what they do is they look at the superficial stuff, but they avert their eyes at the real nastiness that goes on, the, the human trafficking, the, 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 the drug pushers, the drug lords, all these sort of things. People avert their eyes because sometimes it's dangerous to come across, to come up across, come up against these people so to be a conscious leader, you've got to be brave. You've got to have courage. You've got to be prepared to put your money where your mouth is and, and defend and support and help people that are at the very, very bottom rung of the human ladder. You've got to be prepared to not go down to their level, but to 
send down, put down your hand and help the people that want to take it, help them rise. Some people won't want to take it, they're quite comfortable there and they're part, it can be sometimes part of the problem, but it's being prepared to see all of life, not just uh, the, the nice, nice stuff. You've also got to be prepared to um, have battles between the ego, the emotions. Once you're in a leadership position, there will be egos aplenty that, that come at you. Um, and problems are plenty as well. So it's, it's trying to keep your emotions in check so that you can look at things, um, I can't say dispassionately really, but you can look, look at things from an angle that you can be of help. You're not so emotional that you become um, ineffective. So look at other sides of problems. Um, it, it takes quite a creative mind as well to be able to look um, at things on a la more lateral basis rather than, you know, sometimes people, there, there's a problem and people just take over leadership and they go forward and the next leader and they're, they're, they're trying to fight the same problem in exactly the same way as they've always fought it and it never changes because the people creating the problems are, are used to being attacked. You know, say they're a kind of, it's like a force in the middle of a country and you've got north, south, east and west and people always, always attack from the north. So the north, that's completely, that's completely protected. So the, the south, east and west, they can get along about their business and they can create more problems and things because they know every leader that comes in they only attack from the north so what if you're a leader that looks for another way and suddenly attacks from the east so it's attack you know you, you look at the thing from another perspective and you take and you can then get more results because you're trying things in a different way but it is important to not get overwhelmed with the emotions and not get into ego battles with people. And you also it's making mature choices and thinking about other people when you make these choices, not just about yourself or the people close to you. It's if you're in a leadership position, then you are having to make choices. You've got to take responsibility for those choices because other people are affected. You can't you, you, this, this is why conscious leadership is so important um, because when we make conscious choices and include everybody <laughs> to make sure that at least the majority of people flourish, this is what this is what it's about. It's not about making choices that benefit only yourself. So um, that is uh, the answer from the cards. So I chose to um, do a quick Google search of the definition of leader while you were talking because I started to have all kinds of um, thoughts and hits and, and things. And it, it said that it's a, a person who commands a group so or an organization. So I am going to propose a new definition, definition for all of you watching and listening about what leadership is. And because there's so many people that um, clients I talk to and such that they're like, eh, I'm not a leader. I'm not one to stand up and voice my opinion. I'm not one to um, organize a group and, 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 and motivate them. So I'm not a leader. And that's fine. Not everyone is an active leader like that. But I am going to propose that we are all leaders. And by what I mean, and what I mean by that is that we all set a tone, an energetic tone, an energetic ripple effect, that um, an emotional ripple effect that goes out from us, and we lead, um, even if it's unconsciously, um, non-conscious, uh, we lead people around us by that. 
so by that vibe. So I'm going to challenge all of you to be a conscious leader in being authentic, like Sue said, leading with your heart in your decisions, in your actions, in your words, doing what's authentic to your heart, um, knowing that what you are doing or saying is best for you and hoping that while it's best for you, it's also best for everyone or, or the majority. Because when you're leading with your heart, you aren't leading with your finances or your ego. So by nature of the energy, what you're doing for you will benefit all um, when you're heart-centered. So I'm going to challenge all of you that say, eh, I'm not a leader, um, to look at yourself as leading your little energy, little, little ball of energy, your, your little emotional tribe, um, and don't discount the fact that you matter in the, the ripple effect, in the, in the, in the pond. Um, because it doesn't matter what you do for a living, whether you're a mother or a father or you're a teacher or a banker, you are all leading by example. So um, own the leadership part. Yeah, absolutely. And you have, well, I, you've left me speechless, Carrie. Woo! Okay. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, please um, subscribe, like, and share if this resonates with you. And that's maybe a first step of leadership. There you go. <laughs> Set the example. Thank okay. you. Okay, bye. Bye.